Hello, this is Bitcoin Brandon back with some more news, and we've been following this one very closely. This is about the CEO of JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon, who I like to say is the boy who cried wolf scenario. He punked everybody, and I think this will go down in history. When they do documentary on this, is one of those flash moments where one guy was able to manipulate the market and make billions because of it. So here's a missed message. Mixed messages fly as JP Morgan posts job ad for blockchain technician. JP Morgan reveals they are looking for a technical project execution manager. Blockchain distributed ledger technology, despite a very recent vehement attack on Bitcoin, which originated the very blockchain technology the financial services giant seeks to adopt. And a move that many are finding ironic, if not downright hypocritical. JP Morgan is on the hunt for an experienced blockchain technician. The job posting comes just days after CEO Jamie Dimon called Bitcoin a fraud. The same fraud whose core open source technology the company has appropriated. The job listing on JP Morgan's website reads, The blockchain center of excellence leads efforts for applications of distributed ledger technology within JP Morgan. We are exploring blockchain use cases and piloting solutions across business lines. We are active in the blockchain ecosystem, developing technology, investing in strategic partnerships, and participating in industry consortia. It is no secret that big banks are heavily investing in blockchain technology. However, part of Bitcoin's success is in how it has rewarded miners for building and maintaining a decentralized blockchain infrastructure which is essential to security, while also making the system accountable to everyone. Bitcoin was born as a response to poor financial management after the largest banks, including JP Morgan, contributed to the 2008 world financial crash, leaving a pressing need for a better system. It is no coincidence that Bitcoin came to fruition in the same year when the world was looking for alternatives. Bitcoin was presented. What about Jamie Dimon's blockchain history? Dimon's recent anti-Bitcoin diatribe is hardly a new position for the JP Morgan CEO. During an appearance on CNBC's coverage of the World Economic Forum meetings in February 2016, he made his feelings about Bitcoin quite clear. Bitcoin, the currency, I think is going to go nowhere. There is nothing behind the Bitcoin, and I think if it was big, the governments would stop it. At the time of Diamond's pronouncement, the price of Bitcoin was somewhere in the neighborhood of $400. Four short months later, the cryptocurrency nearly doubled in value to $780, and by December 2016, had reached the then unprecedented value of $1,200 per coin. Since then, the value of Bitcoin has continued to climb, reaching its all-time high in August of this year at just under $4,980. From this perspective, it is easy to see why one former J.P. Morgan executive told Diamond to shut the F up about Bitcoin. So, of course, they're sending a double message. They're playing the market. This is market manipulation at its finest. Bitcoin Brandon, out.